real-time controls and bus interrupts. Bus interrupt is not the bus being late or a bus schedule being late. A bus interrupt is a hard channel in a computer architecture that allows for very fast reactions to it, to the computer, how the computer reacts, what it does. So if it sees this bus line turned on or in trouble, the computer says, I got to go service all of this and make sure I pay attention to this. It's a form of artificial intelligence, decades old now, decades. This is process control systems, real-time controls, and how they're implemented, how they're designed, and what the requirements are. So you learn about networks, structures, controls, architectures. You learn about clustered systems and decision controls and clustered systems. You learn about redundant systems parallel hardware and software that's meant to be able to take over when one or the other fails. You talk about triple redundancy systems, which I'm only familiar with in theory, but that's the advantage of clustering. You can overdo that and check yourself millions of times a second inside a clustered architecture. So bus interrupt, bus interrupt. I was introduced to this because a piece of hardware manufactured by a digital equipment company was having its bus extended. They were adding bus interrupt service lines specifically to be able to meet the needs of real-time control systems. Now this architecture, the architecture is still relevant and, and current, but the hardware is aged and dated. It's been improved. It has evolved a long way. This is real-time process control systems. When you drive by a chemical plant, that's what's running the place. That's just how it works, real-time controls. It reduced the number of operators and emergency responders, hopefully, because it's safer. And yet, that's what it is, a computer system with a form of intelligence that is not artificial, it's man-written, it has flaws, it is flawed at every layer of its construct. And engineers know about these and the risks of those flaws, so that's why the redundancy in a real-time control system. But this idea of a bus interrupt, what is that? In this case, it was a specific channel, the little switches, maybe a mile away, and if those switches were not set properly, the computer control system made a decision to shut down a multi-million dollar facility. And in that shutdown, because it's black cells, you basically turn it all off and you fill the canyons with concrete. And there it sits. That's a black cell. That's the effect of a bad day in a black cell condition. So this idea of interrupts, how they're serviced, what happens, what the response is to that one little interrupt, and there were three of them required for this one black cell in the middle of a huge nuclear process. So this idea of controls, a bus interrupt, something you can throw in there that will shut the whole thing down and turn it off and make it a million dollar pyramid to be uncovered later by <laughs> people seeking artifacts of it. Because it's what we do, we're curious beasts. Anyway, this idea of a interrupt, a service interrupt, the importance of it, the response to it, is designed and programmed into this control system. But now you have to put systems think together here because this is a uh, discrete form of engineering very few people are familiar with have had advantage to be in the middle of it so these interrupts this process controls these process designs this idea this notion of process those come from libraries 
libraries of knowledge and the best way to do things, the fastest way, or even better, the cheapest way to do things. Process controls. Turning one interrupt on. Say you have $50 million to spend on media. You go turn on that media spigot and then create something like Brexit. Or you create something like Donald Trump. By turning on one little media interrupt, you gain the attention of a few million people. And then you play with those service interrupts like a piano. Oh, well, a bit of a technology. Device interrupts, process interrupts. Huge thing in computers. How do you handle an interrupt? <laughs> Pieces out. <laughs>